Whoa! Whoa! That's the island. Oh, DLC evolved, everyone. It is fantastic. I've got to say, I'm well impressed. Well impressed. I think it's pretty epic. That was epic, but now it's time to show you guys what the Collector's Edition is all about and announce the winner of who actually won it from you ratbags. If you don't know, I've been having a prize draw running to win a Collector's Edition of Ark Survival Evolved. I stealthily put it in on the end of one of my videos. I didn't make a big song and dance about it because I want people to actually watch me to actually get a chance to win it rather than loads and loads of people that never ever actually give a monkeys. Now I know it's a bit late, I know you might have probably seen it already, but I don't I don't think not everyone's got them yet. I think loads of people might still be waiting for them. So I just want to see what it's got. I've got one for myself, I'm giving one away as a competition, and I've got another two which I'm basically taking apart and giving away to friends, patrons, um, just people that have helped me out, little bits and bobs from them all. So let's get on with the unboxing and then I'll reveal the winner of the actual collector's edition. So here's the actual unboxing. Let's make a bit of space. I may go a little bit quieter because I'm moving the mic away a little bit. I'll try and turn it up. I've got loads of things happening. I've got a brand new PC coming. I've got a new desk. Um, so I'm making space for it all. So excuse the mess. But look at it. Shiny, 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 shiny. Shiny, 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 shiny. So the box is quite nice. It is just a cardboard box though. There's no, there's no... I don't know. For 150 pounds, I want a proper box. Give me a proper, a proper box. Maybe that's asking for too much. Um, and as you can see, these are all the bits. Now I've opened this up before just to show little bits, but I haven't actually gone into it and opened it up properly. And we're going to do that today. So straight away, you get the game, and the game's got the season pass in it. So we're going to open this one up. Little Legs has won a Xbox Live Season Pass for Ark Survival Evolved and the previous competition we did. And that was for... what was that for again? Was that for Patrons? I can't remember what that was won. There we go, there's the box. In fact, let's move this out of the way. I'm building up the anticipation, can you tell? Am I doing a good job? Probably not. So, inside we do have our Season Pass. Now, I'm not going to show the other side, just in case you suddenly know how to zoom in and redeem it yourselves. And then we've just got the box and the disc. Let's have a look at the disc. Yeah, the disc is alright, you know, box standard. It is interesting to see an early access game on disc like this. More and more games are coming out, like independent games on discs. But it's definitely something special. I imagine if you are a developer, especially from a small studio, it must be amazing to see your game on an actual disc. I don't know, some developers are a bit funny, they're not that bothered. So I applaud Wildcard, even though it caused a lot of issues and it's caused a lot of expense. Um, getting it on disc is, is, is a pretty good idea. I like the box art as well, actually. If you take a look at the box art, I like the back of it more, more so. So obviously this is really good for early access players because you won't probably ever see the box. You won't buy it because you've already got it on early access. But um, I really like the just that little few shots there of the dinos. I probably could have chose a little bit more to it to add to it, but uh, I think that's pretty decent. Okay, so that's the box done, that's the season pass. Now we do get the um, soundtrack, so uh, obviously it's just a nice disc, you can have it on disc, chuck it in your car, whatever. You can go and download this, um, I think you can buy it. You can also check out the actual Garth Croker, uh, Gareth Croker, uh, the composer, he's got his own YouTube channel and he's got it up, the whole whole shebang all in one video so if you want to listen to it while you're doing other stuff go ahead and check it out i'll try and put the link down below so that would be good i'm going to be giving away some of them to people oh all right let's open up the necklace now since this has come out i've seen a few people actually say they can get these from amazon um someone showed one the other day and it looked pretty cool um it's all right it's a, it's a lot better than i thought it would be Let's see if we get right up close with the actual thing. Right, it going mad. It's got, you know, textured metal. It is quite metal. It is quite heavy. It's got that little bit of a... Well, see, I know it's the way the logo is, but I'd be worried about that snapping. 
I don't know, maybe I'm maybe I'm being too fussy. And it's very sharp as well. It is quite sharp. Obviously it's just a bit plastic on the colour bits there. But it's quite nice. It has got like the indentations of the actual um, obelisks inside it as well. So that's pretty cool. It looks exactly like you know the logo. Um, the string's okay as well. I think it's pretty tough, pretty durable. It looks like it's mock leather, which is nice. It's not just on a piece of string. Um, yeah, would you have that hanging around on you? It's pretty cool. It's pretty tight. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to wear it. I'm probably going to give my ones away. I have got a competition for patrons as well where they're going to win the map, this, and the soundtrack. So expect to see that soon, patrons. Now let's take a look at the cloth map. Oh, it feels nice. Oh, it's silky. Silky, silky, silky. Oh, oh, it is nice. It is nice. Look at that. Would help if I had it up the right way round, wouldn't it? Look at that one. Um, yeah, it's pretty tight. It's pretty good. I think I think we could have seen a little bit more detail on it. Again, I'm being grumpy, but I think it would have been nice to have a little bit more colour in it in terms of like you know vegetation areas and well, it's all vegetation really. But do you know what I mean? I think like the redwood, it would have been nice to see some more symbols of trees and stuff like that. And it it feels very nice. It's very silky. It's very smooth. Um, I don't know what it's made out of. Is there a label? See the back of it as well. Obviously pure white. That is definitely going up. Once I'm starting to renovate my little flat at the moment, I'm living here for the next six months. So um, I probably will, if I do keep this, one of these, I think I will put it on the wall. But I don't know yet. I'm not. I'm not that bothered. It is big. Like I'll give it that due. It is like a massive map, and it does look a bit like the war maps. So that'd be cool. Imagine if you could you put pins in it. Some ultra pvp player just putting pins in his actual real life map to go and work out where to take on people so very nice i like my name is jeff now this is the one this is the one mm. Mm. oh i've not touched it i've not opened this i've not looked through it at all i've had it sitting in like i've got three of them you can see in the background two boxes there and there's another one just behind me let's grab it there So this is the giveaway one or one of them ones is depending on which platform it is either xbox or the ps4 so i keep looking at there talking to the camera xbox or ps4 so fingers crossed you might win this it is shut now by the way you can't enter it by the time this video is out the competition has finished so don't get too excited it pays attention to always watch videos towards the end because i would always do competitions like that oh, okay oh oh smells nice as well it does feel nice as well. Oh, it's got that threadbare effect to it. Let's take a look. You can see the, the big letter there. It's like indented, which is quite nice as well. It really does feel nice. It's soft, actually. It feels a bit like the map. That's what it feels a bit like. So I quite like that. I like the fact it's uneven as well. Like It's not just being cut like in a straight line. You can see it's like got curve to it, which makes it look almost more realistic. Right, how do we open it? Okay, so look on the sides there. Let's see if we can do that one. Cool, it feels like real leather. It can't be. Oh. Oh. It's got nice, yeah, nice little furries inside. Wow. Okay, so they've, they've stuck the first page. Looks like it's with glue. I'm not too impressed with that, to be honest. I think I probably could have stitched it. It looks like that will get very threadbare. I'm really being careful. I don't want to rip anything or do anything to it. Should, I, should we read it together? Right, let's, let's, let's see if I can read backwards. No, I can't read backwards. If you're reading this, you found my research notebook. Don't waste its pages with your personal musings and write professionally. Like me, also, please don't use this for kindling. Kindling. 
These are research notes of Helena Walker, biologists which were taken while studying the extraordinary wildlife on this island. Sadly, as my supplies are limited, my tribe is small. See, one person. And I have no access to any relevant texts. I cannot promise that it is free of errors. However, it is still the most comprehensive collection of research ever written about the island's fascinated fauna. And if that ever... If that strikes your fancy, you found the right notebook. So enjoy. I hope you learn something. Helena Walker. I didn't realise her name was Helena Walker. So it is, it is quite nice. The backing as well is the same sort of thing. That's... What's that? What's that? Oh, is this the dev poster? Oh yeah, we're giving that one away. No, I love you guys. Well done. Most of you. It's quite nice. The paper's quite nice. So maybe you like that in your room or, or something like that. I might, I'll give them away on my ones, definitely. Oh, it just... Uh, creatures of the Ark. There we go. Right, I want to get up close and I want to show it off to you. So obviously this is my one. You're not going to get the one I've opened. This is probably the one I'm going to keep. We've got the Agitina. It's quite nice. It's, it is thick pages. It is Now, it's only the original dinosaurs, I do believe. Like, Well, no, the Agitina wasn't an original one, was it? It wasn't the original 60. So yeah, it must be as many as they could get into it. But I don't think it's going to have like the Phoenix in it or the Yotto or anything like that. We'll have to check. So, I may got a little bit carried away in showing off the actual collector's edition, especially this dossier book. I spent about another 15 minutes talking through it and going through it all, literally listening off of my favourite things about it. And while it might be interesting, honest to God, I don't want to send you all to sleep. I'm sure you're all here just to see who won the bloody competition. So, the winner was, well, the way to get it was, you had to stay tuned to the end of the video. I said to you, go and check out my Discord, and you could enter the competition just by putting a reaction on it. It's the second time we've done it, the first time we had some problems, but this time it's finally done it. Drum roll, please. The winner of the collector's edition of Platform of Their Choice is swoop z z you have won it well done congratulations i'm going to send you a message on discord please reply with your email hopefully in the next two weeks if you don't reply in the next two weeks i will end up just giving it away to someone else so please get back to me wherever you live i will make sure it gets sent to you um, and congratulations well done you get everything you've just seen in the video and you're going to be getting it in the post to you very very soon and there we go, I'm going to drop you back into the last bit of the unboxing. Thank you for watching everyone, well done again, and I'll see you rat bags very soon. And that is it, and then at the end we've got this. As this notebook is filling up and I've left the island behind, my study of its fauna is concluded. Since starting my research I've made many discoveries about the nature of the ecosystem these creatures inhabit. The secrets I've uncovered are too complex to believe into here, but suffice to say, not all is as it seems. That does not make these individual creatures less magnificent. Nothing can diminish the grace of Quetzalcoatlus in full flight or the primal power of the Gigantosaurus. So I stand by this research and I hope that if anyone has reads it, they can, they can gain a greater appreciation for the wildlife of the island and of the nature in general. Take care and keep on surviving. Well, there we go. That is it. That is what you're all going to win, guys.